Welcome back to another episode of Unhinging the Beast. Um, I was just skating a little bit. I want to show you this. I was looking for redstone, and I finally found some diamonds. Finally. This is one. Okay, no, it's not one diamond. I can count five. So my main goal here was redstone. I thought I had two tor Something's going on with my game. I know I shouldn't be really excited for just diamonds, but first diamonds on a map, always exciting. One. Into my mining backpack. Bam. Bam. Five diamonds. There we go. And get this redstone, of course, because we are running extremely low. Something that almost never happens. Need lots of redstone. Also ran... Just ran out of torches. So yeah, just want to show you that. Um, I have no idea where we're going to be doing this episode. Actually, no. I already said it last episode. We're going to be... The thing. Industrial Blast Furnace and Industrial... Thing. Grinder. Right, right, right. Yeah. See you in a bit. Okay, so this is the first clip that I've recorded. This is the first clip I'm recording with a new audio setup. Um, and like I said, we are going to be working a little bit on big Greg Tech, multi-block Greg Tech stuff. First of all, we're going to try and get a stack of... Why do I hear lava? It's kind of weird. And why is that not being recorded? That's also weird. Let me just check this for a sec. Okay, never mind, it was just really quiet. Okay, anyways, cooking a stack of this, and from what I saw before, I'm I only gonna put 60, or maybe even less. Put 56 coal coke, hopefully that's enough to cook a stack. If that is, I'm gonna be pretty happy, because we're gonna try and go for directly for the reinforced machine blocks, rather than the standard machine blocks. Um, casing, not block. Casing. So we're gonna, again, we're going to go directly for the reinforced ones, which require steel plates, rather than the standard ones, which are less and require iron. But yeah, steel without centrifuge, yay! Also have this set up, I just switched the redstone back and forth, but we have 10,000 buckets of lava in there. And we have a full MFE with a full lithium backpack. So I'm not too worried. All sorts of things, and we are going to try and make um, that thing that I'm completely forgetting about. More thermal generators and an MFSU first. But for that, we are going to need to, first of all, somehow empty the MFE. So we're going to have to create a secondary MFE to store that power. And then put an MFSU down with the things. Yeah. I'm real organized right now. Okay, let's see. Thermal generator. We need geothermal generators, which means we need generators. Which means I don't make the batteries yet. It's great. I also don't have cables. Once again, I am very organized right now. I was gonna make a bat box, but I don't think that, that will be necessary. I have the transform upgrades already. I just wanted to do that on camera. Two batteries. There we go. And we have iron versus, and we have iron. There we go. Generators. Geothermal generators. Thermal generators. There we go. 
We now have that. We need to create a secondary MFE. Before I forget. But we also want to make it instead of out of rubies, because we have enough. Even not because we have enough, even though we have enough. Because um rubies are fairly rare. And to get all that the thing. The thing that I'm blanking on. All that uh that rare reason that pink one, chrome. Yeah, that's it. To get all that chrome when you're using your rubies for MFEs is a bad idea. So, um, I'm probably going to go clay gathering sometime off camera this episode. Um, there and there. We are going to dig a little area out here. Not the wrong place. And then we're going to place our MFE here. Which we didn't make. Because I wanted to go clay mining. Right. I'll be back when I have a few lithium batteries. I just realized that we don't need a secondary... Uh, thing. What am I hanging up? MFE. Because... We have... This little device that I forgot that I made. That is underneath the electrolyzer. Once I realized that, I... I realized that once I got the things ready to be electrolyzed. So I got three stacks of clay. That's a lot, a lot of clay. Finished the roof on this thing. That was a quite expedition in the nether, but not really worth showing. There we go. One, two, three, four. Energy flows out of there into the electrolyzer. We have a few cells to start us off with. It's definitely not enough for six stacks of clay dust. And we can... Not there. So it's this guy here, and this guy... Here. And we can start fueling up. So this uses a lot of power. This is extracting a lot of power. And then once this is out of power... <laughs> We can uh, get the things, the MFSU in, because thermal generator is generating constant power from this. That's what we want. Okay, so let's see if these all these all plates are bent. There, we are past halfway. Tin, four empty cells. There we go. That was quick. I forgot how fast the electrolyzer was. Oh, we still have to wait for all the aluminum to blast. It's almost worth going back to the nether, but it's like to get another blast furnace, but it's not. It's really not. It's extremely quick. I'm gonna need so much more tin. So, so much more tin. It's weird that when you put Buckets in, it can only get 1,000. But when you put in it from pipes, it can get up to 10,000. Which is kind of annoying. Let's see. Once that is all done, and hopefully I'll get ready to build the blast furnace, because that's I, I know it's a lot quicker. Hopefully have enough steel to... Probably not. I think we need more than a stack. But yeah, I'll be back. The few thermal expansion machines. We only want one magma crucible. Glad I didn't shift click there. And a liquid transposer. Now, funnily, funnily enough, we need an igneous extruder. There we go. Well, let's go up and place these machines. The steel is also almost done smelting. I used some of it for these machines. My frame rate is terrible. What is up with this? What the heck? <laughs> My frame rate's terrible. Looks at F3, 80 frames per second. Did, do you see those like little stutters? Huh. Okay, so... Um, I was actually just wanting the igneous extruder, but since we're making them, we have the liquid transposer and the igneous extruder. Not the igneous extruder. 
the magma crucible. Okay, so we want the input output to be there. Input on the top, just like regular. And we want the input from the side, and we're not going to have an output. Now we are going to save cells using this by getting some other things. Um, what are they called? Portable tanks. And that's the reason we need the igneous extruder. This is probably out of power or out of water. What the heck? Huh. It burned away without water. That's kind of weird. I have a cut on my thumb, and every time I move my mouse, it hurts my hand. <laughs> okay. So, since last time, we have... I think I showed this last time. I cannot remember. Oh, we need to turn this off. No, I can't reach the... off. Okay, now we can bring it back up. I can't remember what I did since last time, if anything was off camera or on camera. Yeah, we still need approximately six fuel. But it's weird that it's just staying there instead of wasting the fuel. I saw that change in vanilla Minecraft too in 1.7. It's kind of weird. Six coal coke should do the trick. If it doesn't, I can put a few pieces of charcoal in there. But charcoal is four times as worse as coal coke. So, holy Jesus, frame rate. I swear. No? What is this? I wonder if it's my actual computer lagging. Like, Minecraft has enough frames, my computer doesn't. It's, it's kind of... God dang it. Not F9, F3. I'm glad that's not my stop recording button anymore. Okay, so, um, we are going to place our igneous extruder right there. That's going to be the input. Why is it, where's the lava? Why is it not flowing to there? Oh, come on. Fine then. Um, I need to get a bucket of water. I'm going to set this to obsidian. I'm not sure how much water that takes, though. So I may have to get an infinite spring there. This isn't going to be permanent or anything, but... What I do need to do is uh, get 64 obsidian for the portable tanks. So I can save on my tin because I'm running not necessarily low on tin, but I don't want to be wasting all of my tin just on cells. Because you can see here, like I don't really need the silicon cells or the sodium cells in cell form. Or, well, especially the sodium cells. I might want to keep the silicon cells just so I can blast them. This episode, yes. Um, that yeah, uses an entire bucket of water. Hmm. Do I want to make an aqueous accumulator? I really don't. <sighs> I wonder if it's worth it, or I should just stand there. You know what, yeah, I'm just going to stand there. I'm going to do that manually. And, um, but I do need some more steel. I have enough steel up there and in my, plus my inventory, to get me the industrial blast furnace. And we also need the industrial grinder. And this takes, um, first of all, steel there, so we need eight steel, and then 
Um, yeah, so plus eight steel. Well, we also need uh, how many advanced? We need eight advanced machine casings for that. So that means we need another twelve iron. So we need another twenty. Twenty more iron. So we smelt it up. For the machine casings and the other things for the industrial grinder. And we're going to be focusing again on those this episode. I'm going to install all the upgrades. Actually, I'm not even sure where I'm going to put the things. I guess I'll have a multi block house that I'll destroy later so I can move them over to the future base. But anyways, or is it because it has to go in from the... I don't even know. So I'll get 64 obsidian and I'll be back. So the obsidian's done. That took actually a lot less time than I thought. And now I can really feel my frames lagging. I forgot that I was on fast graphics. Anyways. There's still power in there. That's a lot faster than a stone pickaxe. Put that there. Put that there. That's going too fast. <laughs> we have nickel. And we're gonna make some cupro nickel heating coils. Partially for the blast furnace, but also partially for the alloy smelter, because the induction smelter is the other thing you can make the hardened glass in, and um, I didn't make one. I don't feel like making one. So, still a bit of fuel in there, still a bit of space in there. Probably just powered up. So, we are trying to make the alloy smelter more great tech stuff, hooray! <laughs> okay, so hopefully I have all the materials I need. <sighs> Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to go caving again sometime. Or maybe I'll start off... Maybe I'll start with a miners next episode. That would be nice. Make another mining drill. Okay, let's see. Iron Furnace. We need five circuits. And copper that isn't smelted. God dang it, game. There we go. What else do we need? We need Invar plates. Do we have any Invar left? No, even more nickel and iron dust that I don't have. Isn't this great? <sighs> I thought I was prepared. Prepared. Wow. Well, as you can see, I added some lighting. That should stay full for some time. Okay, apparently not. We do have the random machine block in my frame, I swear. Holy crap, no! That's there's no way. There's no way I'm getting 116 frames a second. No way. That should be enough. Ugh, my frames. I can, I can literally feel the frame rate. It's like when I had my netbook, and I was running at 5 FPS, when I was still, like, playing vanilla, early beta Minecraft, and also leveling, nearing level 48. Yeah, it feels like that. I don't know why. 
in the bar. Are we gonna run out of redstone? Do we have 10 redstone? Oh geez. We're gonna have to go redstone mining again. And rubber. Husha. Husha. I bet that went to my mines backpack. Obsidian dust indeed. That's not what I meant to do. Okay, now, um, circuits, five circuits, we need to make, uh, in our plates we're gonna have electric furnace, wow, we have just the right amount of redstone, we need a battery, we have two redstone, too little. Oh, we have tin too little. God dang it. God freaking dang it. I'm still not sure what I'm going to be doing with my diamonds. Because mm. I don't really want to upgrade to a diamond drill. I want to stay with... I want to go f for the advanced drill first. Oh. The one made with... Not, not iridium, but... Tungsten steel. I don't believe you need iridium. Actually, you might need iridium. Um, drill. Advanced drill. No, yeah, see, you just need tungsten steel. So that should be... Actually, no, okay, that tin, that tin <laughs> was for the portable tanks, which we still need to make, but we need to make the other thing first. Alloy smelter. Okay. Three glass battery. And refined iron plates. I believe I have everything. Uh oh. I tried to get everything prepared before I started recording. But never happens. Never. Never. That was terrible. Invar plates. I have refined iron plates at home. I don't know why I'm making those. We need four of those plates, and I believe that is it. I'd like some battery alloy, but by the time I can make battery alloy, there's going to be no point in saving tin on batteries, because I'm not going to be making batteries very often, and the battery alloy is just too expensive. I should probably put some torches inside, that would be smart. After all the torches outside. You look like iridium plates. I feel so good about myself. <sighs> oh no, with the diamonds, I need to make the silk touch tool. The the rock cutter. Not the rock crusher. And I need redstone. Great. This episode is just going dandy. Isn't it? Come on, there has to be some redstone around here somewhere. There we go. That is in a very precarious position. I don't have much resource. Oh, never mind. There's some right here. Level 48, woohoo!
let's be smart and do some gravel here. Okay. Hey, lava. Okay, so we got the redstone we need. Um, that should last us a, like four seconds worth of crafting time with industrial craft, Greg Tech, build craft, thermal expansion, and all the other mods. Um, and like. We're, we are going to have to set up a witch spawner at some point with uh, Mine Factory Reloaded because there's no way I'm mining the uh, all the rubies for the chrome. So we'll have to get a renewable source of redstone to spin that into chrome. But like I said, if I create a fairly efficient AFK farm, I'm just going to be spawning into things. And it's weird because none of the 1.6 packs actually have the Greg Tech, which I find extremely disappointing. But also kind of relieving since I don't need to start a new world. Get that lava bucket off my bar. Okay, now refined iron plates, glass. Uh, uh why? How does lead and obsidian make glass? Does that does that make any logic? <laughs> lead and obsidian to make glass. I don't I don't find any logic in that. Okay, let's try to make this. Bam and of course, everything's in my backpack. Thirty-two redstone. That'll last us no time at all. But anyways, there, there. Plates for our battery, our circuits. Okay, we used one of the circuits in the recipe for the uh, the furnace. Okay, there we go. There. 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 Copper and nickel heating coils. Electrical circuits. Alloy smelter. We need to expand the house. Do we have any more Genesis bricks? Genesis. We have a tiny bit more Genesis. And we also need more soul sand and nether brick, but that will be for another time. Anyways, we're going to set this up finally, get all the things cooking, all of the things cooking. I don't know why I checked this place. So we need to rip out this wall. Dirt here, alloy smelter here. I forgot to check. Oh, okay. Um, it doesn't say. Or I can look at the recipes probably. Um, two hundred and twenty pages. Great. I should <sighs> just portable. It's very late over here. Hardened glass. The alloy smelter. Um, 20 seconds, so that's 400 ticks. So, 64 over 4, 16 EU per tick. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to get... Transformer upgrade. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, I need one more. But, um... 
Hmm. I guess I'll put the generator there and see what happens. Or maybe I can try and put a thermal generator there, because they produce 10 EU per tick. And it might work. Yeah, I might do that. And then I'll get back to you when all of these dusts are smelted up and in tank form. <laughs>